Didi, it might have been a surprise given the way that Germany started that game, but it's Sweden who are in front courtesy of this goal that you're going to take us through. That's right. Germany started well, but after the penalty incident, they, they lost... Uh... They lost their way and Kroos gives the ball away too easy and we see here Rüdiger has got to react quicker because he sees the, the danger is the ball over the top for Toivon and um, this is a bad angle here. He's, he's got to make a better effort here. The, ball, the game is going on three, four seconds and then he reacts. Then he's a step too late but uh, take nothing away from the finish by Toivon and it's absolutely sublime. Takes it down on his chest and uh, dinks it over the goalkeeper. Neuer who's coming out. Sublime finish but uh, that's where we... We spoke about before that you know if somebody makes a mistake somebody else has to be there to dig him out in this case it's an easy ball to give over very sloppy and casual from Kroos but again Rudiger has to do better and he has to spot the danger and, and be aware where the danger is by the time he sees it it's too late and uh, yeah no wonder he looks a bit sheepish there I think he's as much to blame as Tony Kroos. Yeah, they all look a bit sheepish after that, Liam, don't they? Body language, you can see it by the German players. It was a huge blow. Yeah, very fragile. They started the game well. Uh, Werner and uh, Royce were getting, making little runs in behind. Draxler maybe should have scored in the first minute, but he didn't put it away. And did his right. I think the penalty incident where... Uh, Forsberg. Uh, uh, yeah, Forsberg gets in and the referee, uh, for some reason... VAR is not used, but for me, for us, for all of us, it was a penalty. And I think that unnerved the German team. And after that, they looked fragile. Uh, they made mistakes. And of course, Cruz was too casual for the goal and he got punished. And Keith, when they started the game, they, they were out like a train. I mean, we were watching saying mm. they've had five, six chances. I mean, they really should have been ahead themselves. This was the reaction we were expecting. They were full of energy. They were full of endeavour, that running, that willingness to go on behind, as Liam's alluded to. They looked absolutely on it. And at times, the Swedes were looking fortunate and hanging on. But as soon as they got tested defensively, the Germans, it rattled them. It really, really did. I thought they'd be a lot more secure. But I also think Rudy going off has made a difference. All right.